Hey guys, so we have a pretty fun topic today. I'm going to be reviewing viral TikTok makeup. And what's really interesting about what becomes viral on TikTok is, of course, the new products go viral, but a lot of products that have been around for a while that I've tested before are like almost resurfacing and becoming re-viral all over again on a different platform. Honestly, it's quite fresh because YouTube, I feel like it's typically new, 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 new. And it's kind of fun when something not new goes viral on TikTok. And so I was getting ready for the day or planning to get ready for the day. And I thought, you know what? Let me pull some products that I've been seeing that are going viral on TikTok that I already have, I can give you the review on, and maybe rediscover some of these. So let's go ahead and get into it. Do I have a boogie? Huh. So some of these are new to me, new viral things, and then others are viral products that, um, girl, I've been known about these. So we're gonna start off with primer, and I've talked about this a lot recently because I picked it up during the Sephora sale, but I see all of the Get Ready With Me girls using the Refi Face Primer. So what's unique about this and I think attracts people to it is the unique packaging. I'm telling you now, I wish it were a pump. That's my main thing. So what has gone viral about it, it's interesting, is the packaging, but also it's the part that I don't like about it. And yeah, you can argue, you know, when you roll it on the face, that's the big thing when it comes to people thinking it's unsanitary. It's that you're rolling the bacteria all over your face. But my big thing is it's just icky because the product sits underneath the roller. I just don't like that. So I wish it were a pump mostly because I actually really do like this formula. Now you can also literally just like use it like this, but a bunch comes out. I wish they sold like a detachable applicator or something that you could put a pump on top. But anyways, the quality of the primer itself, really, really nice. It's very long wearing. I've heard a lot of those of you who have oily skin like it. And what's interesting is it leaves a very pretty glow behind on the skin. And honestly, it is quite hydrating uh, and it leaves a tack behind. And I noticed that this is probably why girls with oily skin like it. Your skin stays tacky all day with this. So I did a video or something, or I was testing it just off camera, I can't remember. But for some reason I didn't have anything over top of my skin. I just put this on to see how it acted and made my skin feel. And my face literally stayed tacky all day. So I do think that this helps with long wear. It didn't soak in, it didn't set as the air touched it. It literally was sticky all day so i it does add a nice long wear it's hydrating it's a very very nice quality primer i just i really hate the packaging Ugh, leaves me feeling icky okay so this is one where it is a fairly new product it launched last year but it's not new i bought it i reviewed it i liked it a lot and i moved on but i feel like recently Everybody's just now discovering on TikTok the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, and it is beautiful. I mean, I'm not sure if the video is up yet or not, but I actually just filmed a full face of House Labs. So I did use this recently. I'm mixing two different shades. 175 Light Neutral, which is a little dark for me right now in the winter. And then I'm doing a touch of 130 Light Warm, which is a little lighter to lighten that up. I feel like generally speaking, when it comes to the products that go viral on TikTok, sometimes they are amazing and sometimes they're good. You know, I see why they got had gone viral, but you know, maybe they aren't my number one favorite product, but most of the products that go viral on TikTok are pretty good. Now, they're just not as exciting to me because it's like, girl, I said I love that six months ago. But <laughs> anyways, let me stop being annoying with that. This I was excited to see get some popularity because it truly is one of the only skincare infused foundations that I truly enjoy. It has a lightweight feel, it gives a medium coverage, it has a natural finish, leaning a little bit luminous in terms of it being a natural finish, but it's not a luminous finish that really emphasizes texture or anything icky on the skin. It really looks like a second skin, which is the kind of everyday foundation that I like. Doesn't look too heavy. 
leaves a little bit of glow behind so it's not fully matte and it wears very pretty throughout the day as well I wouldn't consider this like a super long wearing foundation you know if I'm doing something all day that I am going to wear and tear in this wouldn't be the foundation that I would go to but for every day absolutely it's a beautiful beautiful foundation so this is definitely a viral product that I agree with I'm really happy to see that it's gone viral because it does have a formula that's going to suit a lot of different skin types and it's great because it's just a lighter coverage product so I do agree with that one so in the pattern that I do my makeup let's move to eyebrows next now eyebrows was tricky I'm gonna talk about this product first I'm not gonna use it because I really really hate it so I just said when it comes to TikTok products, when they go viral, most of the time they're really, really nice. This one is like awful. This is the NYX Zero to Brow Long Wear Brow Gel. Now, let me give them credit where credit is due. This will last for days in your eyebrows. It's just you can't shape anything. It's really hard to use. It's truly disastrous. So, I don't know if this is really considered viral, but it's just a known fact that the NYX Brow Pencil is just a great universal brow pencil. I truly believe that TikTok revived NYX because NYX was just not as popular for the few years before. And then they had their brow gel go viral and various other products go viral. Even the jumbo sticks from NYX that were popular 10, 11 years ago, those went viral again for some time on TikTok. So truly, TikTok gave NYX some life. But anyways, this brow pencil, like I said, I don't know if it is super duper viral, but I do know a lot of people use it and recommend it on TikTok because it truly is a great pencil. It's nice and thin and small, so it really allows you to draw the hairs on. For me, my biggest thing, it's not too creamy, which I like. I like it a little bit more dry. You know, I buy a lot of brow pencils from a lot of different brands because it's my job to do that. But if this weren't my job, I would stick to NYX and then e.l.f. also. Also has a good brow pencil that's a little bit thicker for more quicker days. Those two would probably be the only two brow gels in my collection and what I would be repurchasing were it not for my job. Now for eyebrow gel, speaking of NYX, their brow gel was really popular, but I wasn't a fan of that. So I'm gonna use the classic Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which listen to me, this did have its moment on TikTok because of a technique that I'm gonna show you, just to show you how well it does glue down the brows. So you're going to brush it on the back side of the brows, and then you're going to place the brows how you want this product has been around for years but you know the more laminated brows have not and this product is really great for a laminated brow look because then you're gonna take the flat side of the spoolie and press it down and set the eyebrows and then boom I know not everybody is a fan of this style totally get it it does look like I was electrocuted but I don't know it's kind of fun. It's grown on me. I used to hate the electrocuted look, but then I just realized trends can be fun. No need to be a hater. So I'm going to let it dry and I'll clean up around it, but I don't necessarily know if this was a super viral product on TikTok, but this was a technique that I learned from TikTok. I feel like I'm such a traitor right now <laughs> because I'm so biased towards YouTube, but I could do a whole video on makeup products and makeup brands that TikTok literally revived and saved. Seriously, there's so many products that at this point probably could have been discontinued, but TikTok brought it back to life. Or even brands like NYX, for example. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and clean this up a little bit. This is what I get for doing face makeup first, but BRB. Okay, let's go to concealer, and this is one I have not used in a while, but I did not like it, which is interesting, but I'm still seeing so many people putting this in their viral concealers when they do TikTok-related videos. It's the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I think it was in the worst of 2022 video, but I just, like, what's wrong with me? 
you know, when products go super viral that I don't love, in fact, that I don't like at all, I'm like, what is wrong with me? So let's try it again today. I actually have a fresh new one that I opened up in a better color because I got it in PR a little bit back. So let's see. The thing is, I dislike this concealer, but I feel like all the girls who love this concealer are extremely gorgeous like Hailey Bieber. I can just see her doing the little dots. And I'm actually going to use a super viral concealer brush, which I know about it first. This is the BK Beauty A506. It's kind of like a bear paw brush. It really is the best for concealer, which is why it went viral. And it deserves to, because it is a way that you don't have to use a sponge. So you get full coverage and it is the perfect shape. So this concealer came out when skincare-infused beauty products were getting really, really popular, complexion in particular. And I just feel like I'm too wrinkly for this, and I'm not very wrinkly. Something about it, it's like they've improved the skincare-infused products that have come out this year where I like them because I always felt the skincare-infused products looked heavy on my under eyes, they were too shiny, they emphasized texture and fine lines, and this falls in that category of the 2022 skincare-infused products that I just don't like. It's without any powder, it's not smoothing at all. I feel like it ages me. The coverage is very nice. I'm liking the coverage that it's giving. And the glow, it's like, I want to say it looks pretty, but I think that's what I'm not liking about it. It's just too much. So I'm still on the, I don't get why it's viral. Maybe the reason all the girls who are gorgeous, who love this, they have gorgeous, gorgeous skin. So this doesn't emphasize all of the fine lines on the face, things that we don't want seen. So maybe that's it. I'm not pretty enough to like this concealer. Okay, anyways. I also see like a lot of teenagers <laughs> using this concealer. Anyways, we'll see how it looks with powder. I'm going to use a really good powder, but I'm still not a fan. But before I set with any powder, this has officially come back, y'all. I think it's because of TikTok shop. But this is the LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer. Honestly, I was a hater about this bronzer. And let me tell you why because it's super viral right now, but there's something I don't like about this. Hear me out. Here, listen to what I have to say. It's too creamy and I get it all over the cap and I keep making dents in it. It melts to the touch of my skin where I feel like it almost gets watery in the component. I could benefit from a darker shade, like, She's too tan for this. Wow. But no, a formula that personally, dare I say, is too emollient for me. And it more so has to do with the packaging itself and trying to close it and not making a mess. As opposed to this blend. Because this blend is gorge. Don't get me wrong. Like, look at that. I barely put any weight or effort into this. So I guess for that reason, I can see why so many people like it. But are we not talking about the packaging here? I also think it's it melts on the face a little too much, so then I get too much product and really have to spread it out a lot, so it's almost better to put as little as possible and then spread it out really far, if that makes sense. Like this, as far as the nose, let me get a little bit more out. Like just the littlest bit is all I need for it to be effective. But also the triangle shape, I have to like be I don't know. The packaging annoyed me enough to the point where, honestly, I have not been using this. But I am seeing it absolutely everywhere on TikTok right now. So kudos to LYS because I'm so happy to see their brand growing. You want to know what's funny? I think they kicked me off their PR list. They sent me a mascara one time and I, it was horrible. I'm sorry. It was horrible. But I really do support this. <laughs> they never sent me anything again, but it's fine. I'm happy to support the brand. Okay, and then just a general type of product that's been super trending on TikTok is cream blushes, liquid blushes. So all creams is the move. Cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlight. And um, 
These Juvia's Place blushes, I'm even talking about the powder, are super viral because of their color range, but their pigment level is insane. I think I did a whole TikTok on these, but I can see why these went viral. I think they're amazing, especially if you have a deeper complexion. I'm going to go in with the shade Peach Rose today, but watch this. And I mean, not only is the formula of these crazy, the packaging I think is so cute. It's got this little chubby stick, but on my skin tone, like, <laughs> I just want to leave it at that. This is too much right here this dot so it's almost a little bit difficult to control so you have to be very careful and that can be a con to the product I would say but they look so creamy and delicious on the cheeks let me show you I'm gonna have to rub some off of the brush because this will last you a lifetime you will never run out of this product it will go old before you finish it because oh I really did try to control it and honestly kind of a turn off about that is too much for me but I love it it looks so juicy and hydrating on the skin the finish is gorgeous it doesn't disrupt anything underneath but please use with caution I'm going in with my foundation brush and this is going to tone it down so if, if you struggle with this the rare beauty blushes that are super viral as well or like this, but believe it or not, a little less pigmentation than the Juvia's Place. Use this technique. So I love this formula. However, it can be very, very difficult and dangerous to use. And if you're in a rush, don't use those blushes because things can go bad very, very fast with a product like this. Okay, we're ready for some powder now. Now, the big debate, two viral powders, Huda Beauty versus Givenchy. Huda Beauty was my all-time, 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 all-time favorite, still is, but like Givenchy has given her a run for her money, you know, this is a Givenchy Prisme Libre Viol, whatever, number three, because pink powder also trending. I'm going to use this one today because this one is newer to me. I'm still deciding which one I like better. This one definitely has a little bit more of a hydrating element, but that's, for me, is Huda Beauty lasts forever. It's great for long wear, event makeup, photography. I would prefer the Huda Beauty for that. And then this one is a little bit more everyday friendly because I think it's more flattering on drier skin, which I do have drier skin. So they're both great in their own ways. And I'd use them for different purposes. But I really was shocked that there was another loose powder out there that had comparable blurring abilities. To my huda like i'm gonna show you this is gorgeous do you see the difference it's kind of insane <gasps> wow okay let's do some more We're gonna set under here Ugh, i love these little triangle thingies from amazon i feel like i'm such a tiktok girl right now <laughs> this is what all the tiktok girls do i do have a tiktok if you guys don't follow me that but to be fair you don't need to. It's the same thing that I post here on YouTube in shorts. So you're not missing any content from me. But I really don't consider myself to be a TikTok girl. I even like YouTube <laughs> shorts better. But anyways. So blurring and beautiful. And that also did help tone down the Juvia's Place. Like, I talk about how much I love that Juvia's Place. But the color I chose today, a bit intense. But just like I said, the liquid blushes are viral but so are the powder blushes which i think are for good reason they're also still very pigmented but this particular shade volume four it's because pink blushes are super popular and this one it's expensive for drugstore but it still is a good price i'm going to use a little bit of this and show you the color i wouldn't say that these kind of pinks are the most flattering on me like it's not that cute i don't know I can't pull off that light pink blush look that a lot of girls can, but this is a great option. And you have that deeper shade as well that you can mix. These are still pigmented, but they're definitely easier to use than the liquid blushes. I feel like I'm bagging on the liquid blushes. I love the liquid blushes, but I don't struggle a little bit today. But we do have that 
pink blushy look that is super popular going on right now. And then this is a newer product that's gone very viral because let's be honest, the packaging here is quite grand. This is the ABH Glow Seeker Highlighter in the shade Sun Idol. I picked this up for the Sephora sale, so if you've seen my videos, I've talked about this very recently. It most definitely gives 20... 17 2016 highlighter vibes if you weren't into the makeup industry at this time like 2015 to 2018 abh ran the highlighter scene and the highlighter scene was the equivalent of what like foundation and complexion is right now base products are super popular right now highlighter used to be the it product our faces would be so matte and then we'd have a very unnatural gleaming highlight and it was just like this but honestly it's very pretty and it's very good quality and as a girl who was in college super into makeup at that time i love it it really brings me back the nostalgia and the formula is really nice the packaging a bit too heavy for me like this i'm not going to travel with this would send my bag to be overweight, <laughs> I'm telling you. But it gives that same exact kind of glow. And I love that little repeat recycle of the trending highlights. And then this product went super viral and nobody could get a hold of it because Beyonce Queen Bee performed, I think it was in DC, and a torrential downpour and her makeup stayed great the whole time. And the makeup artist said, he used one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray so this is what it was and honestly it 100 percent is amazing it really does make makeup stay but it is literally like putting hairspray on your face <coughs> don't breathe don't open your eyes like i just did either anyways if you got a long day this one will work. Very good product. So this next product, I haven't used it in years and I recently picked it up. The Space Cowboy from Urban Decay Single Glitter Eyeshadow Transforms Look. Now I did purchase this Moon Dust palette. It came, I have to be very careful. I have to return it. So I'm just gonna hold it back here. But Space Cowboy has been a super viral single shadow. We are not in the age of eyeshadow palettes really. There's a few that have gone viral, but most people are into simple eyeshadow, if any. And this has been the magic trick, the, the finishing touch for it. So I used this years ago. Today's my first time using it. Let's see. I mean, I knew it looked like this just from memory, but that's how you get your Shazam. It's very, very fine sparkle. I don't have any glitter glue on my lid. And even if you do have eyeshadow, you can add this on top for the finishing touch. Perfect for evenings, even every day, it doesn't matter. But it literally is like a translucent glimmer. I don't wanna say glitter because that could make you think it's like more chunky than it is, but it truly is very, very fine. Eyeliner is not really popular at all so i'm gonna do some brown shadow off camera real quick okay so for this next product use your imagination a little bit because i don't have the fully correct version but you know essence is a trending topic on tiktok and the good old lash princess in the green packaging the green not the pinky one super amazing this one is still good too but there's something about that green one i just don't want to have too many mascaras open at once. I do have a backup of it ready to go, but I'm working through this mascara first. Now, I did talk about this multiple times in my short videos, how much I love this mascara, but there were a number of opposing opinions. Some people don't get the hype. Some people say it gets flaky on them. It doesn't get flaky on me. And, you know, I have very short, sparse, thin lashes, and I feel like it gives me a lot. I don't know. I see the hype. I see the virality behind it. I was hyping it up before it was super viral on TikTok. So I love it. Let's do these little lips. What is a viral lip liner? I don't know. I know a long time ago, the Makeup Forever Artist color pencils, Hailey Bieber made these go viral, Anywhere Caffeine. I have Anywhere Caffeine right here. I'm still using it to this day. So this is something 
that was super viral that I'm still hooked on. It's just the most amazing color. Like if you have small lips like me, it instantly gives a natural-ish looking plump. And then this one TikTok also convinced me to buy the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have two shades. So this one is pink sugar. I also have vanilla. Now I do, I do wish I would have purchased a different shade because the both of the ones I have, they're just clear. But I do like how hydrating these are on the lips. I will say they are there are so many hydrating lip products out there, glowy lip products. This one is nice because I feel like it does the job of a lip balm, but it has the glow of a lip gloss. So I definitely see why this is so popular. I do think it's a wee overhyped because there are other options out there, but it still is beautiful. I see why it is very, very hyped. I just wanted to throw that in here because this is a new to me viral product that I've been using the last month or so. But I do want to finish off on something a little bit more trendy viral. e.l.f. launched their lip oils, which was a big deal. They did also recently launch their lip liners. I need to get a hold of those. They're super cheap, like $2. These are the Glow Reviver lip oils and I like these. And I say that with a high pitched voice because I don't love them. But for the price point, I think they're great. I'm gonna use the shade Pinky Quartz because it looks like a Dior one. And it has, you know, the chubby applicator. But in my opinion, the formula did not touch Dior's. Dior's has a thickness to it but that I really like that I feel like fills in the lines. This one, I feel like doesn't fill in the lines quite as much like the Dior and it has a little bit less shine. That being said though, it still is a really nice lip oil especially if you compare it to the price of dior like look at this this is gorgeous and i do love the summer fridays but i prefer a glow like the elf is giving me a little bit more ignore my hair it is like 90 percent dry i have to style it but i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me using a full face of viral tiktok products i had a really fun time with this video because i got to talk about super viral products that honestly i've had for quite a long time so i can give you my full in-depth reviews on them if you've tried any of these products down below let me know and let me know if you like this video i could literally do a whole video on all types of different viral tiktok products in my opinion on them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one